Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, Doge NFTs have made a lot of people rich. Dogecoin actually made over 2,000 millionaires in two weeks. And this guy bought $8,000 of Shiba Inu less than one year ago and is now worth over $5 billion. How can we join the greatest redistribution of wealth in history and what do you need to do in order to turn just $1,000 into a million. I'll show you three critical factors in this video that you need to use to identify the next 1000x meme coin. Oh, and also how to avoid a rug pull. This is absolutely in no way financial advice. Let's jump in. Most crazy DGENs looking to turn their $1,000 into a million dollars have no idea what a market cap is. Instead, they spend their time looking at how many decimal places the coin is away from one cent and think it's got a 1,000x overnight. Without understanding this, you're really not going to make it. And if you do understand it, you have a great chance at 1,000xing on the next meme coin. The market cap is the entire amount currently invested in a coin or even a company. For example, Bitcoin's market cap is over a trillion dollars. And to know how much a single coin is worth, all you have to do is divide this market cap by the current supply of tokens and you get the token price. For Bitcoin, it's about $65,000 at the moment. So in order for Bitcoin to double to 130,000, you need the Bitcoin's market cap to also double. And for Bitcoin, this means you need another trillion dollars added into this market cap to turn your $1,000 into just $2,000. But for some random micro cap with a market cap of say a million dollars, all you need to do to double your thousand dollars, have another million dollars added into that coin. If you wanna turn your thousand dollars into a million dollars, you need to be looking at market caps under a billion dollars for sure. Under a hundred million dollars would be even more helpful and under $10 million, that's where you can really thousand X your money. Tip number two, what does Shiba Inu actually do? Well, don't be crazy, it doesn't really do anything. So then why are people buying it? For one reason, it has a narrative attached to it. Shiba Inu is the next Dogecoin, or Shiba Inu could get to one cent by the end of the year, or Elon Musk just recommended Shiba Inu. These are the narratives that cause FOMO, and FOMO causes a lot of people to YOLO their life savings into these crappy coins. There are not many coins that actually have utility or value in this world at the moment, but every coin always has its own narrative. Bitcoin will get to $100,000. Ethereum is Bitcoin, but also has smart contracts. Solana is Ethereum, but has no gas fees. And Shiba Inu is the next Dogecoin, the next coin that can make you a million dollars. So if you're trying to thousand X your money, don't look for these coins with utility, look for coins with strong narratives. The narratives that you think will create FOMO in other people, and normally they're the narratives that create FOMO or fear of missing out in yourself. The third factor is knowing that narratives are not enough. Because if you buy Shiba Inu now, it only has 20x, a 20 times multiple to go before it beats Bitcoin and becomes the number one coin. And we need to make a thousand x in order to turn our thousand dollars into a million. So we need to make sure that we are on top of these narratives before anyone else. For example, if you came across the next Dogecoin just 12 months ago, you would be up 10,000% in less than a year. In investing, this is called social arbitrage or having a piece of information that you strongly believe in that hasn't reached mainstream yet. Because by the time it does reach mainstream, all that mainstream demand comes in and they wanna buy your coins off you for a much higher price you pay for it, hopefully a thousand X more. And in reality, crypto is basically a social arbitrage in itself because the mainstream isn't even here yet. But we'll save that for another video. What you need to know is where are you on this food chain? And where do you need to be in order to learn these narratives before anybody else? And where do you need to be in order to come across these micro cap coins with FOMO creating narratives first? Well, one thing's for sure, it's definitely not centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance. If you're looking here, you're already way too late. We gotta get you way up that food chain. As these are the last to adopt these meme coins and normally when it starts dumping. If you need to get into the weeds, the dirty dexes and the PooCoin apps are your best friend. So learn to use these. 
But this world is also so new, so who do you trust? Where do you look? How do you know what's going up, what's going down? Three things. First thing, do 100 hours of research. This is a very Gary Vee strategy, but you need to be educated. You need to naturally be able to separate the signal from the noise in this world, and you can't do it without experience. So play with small amounts of money and try a lot of things at once. Of course, always play with money you can afford to lose. Number two, use tools and software such as Nansen where you can literally follow the whales and the 200 IQ wallets. And because cryptocurrency is decentralized, you can see exactly what they're buying and when. And when a few whales start to move on a coin that has a really low market cap, it's a very good signal that you should move too. And lastly, get out there and start meeting people, joining discords, messaging people on Twitter, and make some friends. We're in the super early days and you need to find people who you can network with, trust, and stick together because we're trying to create some value here for the long term in the Web.3 world. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button below, that like button below. We're coming out with two videos a week now. We're amping it up just for you. I'm hoping that you're gonna stick around and I'll see you in the next one.